a couple special things. There's it's a double XP weekend, which means you get twice as much XP as normal. So it's a good time if you were thinking about jumping into the game, you can jump in and you'll level up really fast. So uh, yeah, that's the two X experience right there. And the other thing is there's a special event called a call to arms. Uh, Battle for the Bridge. There's different Call to Arms events, and each one has special rewards. So I'm going to show you that real quick. A Call to Arms. Uh, it's very, it's very simple. First, I had logged in, right? So the first thing you do when you log in, you invoke. Look at that! It got me experience points, and <laughs> I got, a, I got, a, I gained a level from invoking. All right. So first, here's my rewards for my invoking right there. Pretty sweet. And if I stick around for 45 minutes, I'll get all that stuff right there. So uh, one thing I almost always forget is to use one of my invocation blessings. Boom, right there. Now I'm more powerful. All right, let's claim my rewards for gaining a level. Once you hit 70, you still get XP, but every time you would gain a level, instead of gaining a level, you just get rewards. So this time I got a black opal, which I can turn into refinement points, and a power point, which is pretty sweet. That means I can uh, give my character powers and stuff. Well, sh all right, so let's go in to my black opal. Let's convert that thing, right? Boom. 1,000 refinement points. And now the power point real quick I know I want to show you the call to arms see my powers thing is flashing there these are all my powers you can swap them out as you like and they have four ranks most of mine are rank four but not all of them like commander strike commander strike that's one it's I, I didn't because I usually go solo I don't really uh, I don't really take powers that buff allies cuz most of the time I don't have allies so <laughs> And um, since this is a double XP weekend, I have summoned my little buddy. I don't know if you can see him right there. That's my little gargoyle. That's Staldorf. He's voiced by Chris Perkins, uh, the D&D DM, uh, who some might say is the best DM in the world. Uh, yeah, he's kind of like based on those two old guys on The Muppet Show uh, that complain all the time. Oh, this is torture. Do I go to the treasure ship or not? No, I can't. All right, so we're going to do a call to arms, right? So what do you do? You hit K. That brings up this menu. It brings you to the queues. So uh, here on the right in the available queues, these are all the different things you can queue for. You don't need a group. You just go into it, right? So I click on the call to arms event. I hit the check right there. Now, if you see that right there, how it says level 6 plus... You only have to be level 6 or higher to do this. Uh, that's because when we go into this event, it's just going to... We're all going to be level 60. I'm actually going to get bumped down. And all those people are going to get bumped up. I, I assume it's just a numbers thing. So we're all going to be level 60. And a lot of times when we go into these things, um, the group we, we tear through this event really fast. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we're going to join the queue. And there's a little bit of a wait. There. See? Not too bad, right? Except, jump in. This guy sells you stuff. It's a bunch of crap. This guy tells you what the event is about. I'm going to shut up for a second so you can hear him talk while we begin the event. Or not. He doesn't want to talk. All right. A lot of times what happens when you go into this event, go into this bridge, right? I've never seen that note before. So... It's almost like a race to see how fast we can finish this thing, right? So there's the they already destroyed the obsidian column. Here's all these little flunkies. I'm going to hammer them with my power that hurts everybody within a certain radius. And uh, people a lot of times leave the treasure on the ground because it's like this mad race to get through the bridge event. There's the second guy. Most people are going to blow right behind. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. I I'm barely going to be able to keep up with them. <laughs> We're almost done with the bridge, right? There's a giant. That's awesome, right? It's a fire giant. Those are some of my favorite minis from uh, from D and D, like especially in fourth edition. They had really awesome fire giant minis. 
Alright, guess what? We just completed the event. <laughs> so basically what you do is you queue into this thing and uh, you tear through it. And then you get your rewards. I like to pick up the trash because it is useful to me. I don't know. So what's in the treasure box? Ready? So you got your 5 silver, 98 copper. That's uh, it's not really that useful in the game. It's a little useful. Searing Magma Die Pack. That lets you change the color of one piece of your armor. I'm afraid to use it because I don't know if I'll be able to change back. You get an enchantment, a rank 4 enchantment. 10 is the highest, so 4 is kind of, yeah. And Medallions of Battle, that's a currency. And then you get your rough Astral Diamonds. Astral Diamonds is the big money in this game. That's the money that you want. Uh, so rough Astral Diamonds, I'll show you. Rough Astral Diamonds. See, so hit I. You look at your inventory. You go to your money. So there's your regular Astral Diamonds. Here's your rough ones. So all rough means is you hit this button, refine. I think you can refine up to 100,000 a day. Yeah. So there's a limit. It's just it's sort of like a way just to limit just how much Astral Diamonds you're going to be getting in the game per day. I guess to kind of control the wealth. Uh, that's it. Right? I gained XP. My, then my little buddy is starting to level up because your companions get XP. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. He's a rank 1. And he can... I'm not sure what he goes up to. Oh, max is 25, right? So there he is. I Now, when you want to level him up, you got to click this begin training button. And oh, right now, look at that. He's all the way up to 18 already. I've been doing this event just a few times today. So I, I'll probably just wait until he hits the max, which is 25. Then I'll send him off to train, and that could take real life hours, usually like anywhere from like one hour to ten hours. I don't know. It's, you know, it's, it's a while. But let's, so let's do that one more time, so you can see the. Uh... <laughs> it's insane. You can just do it over and over and over. And also, you get that special currency, medallions of battle. I think it is. Boom! Look at that. It's so fast. And you can spend that on items and stuff. But you have to go to a specific merchant to do that. Alright, let's see if I can keep up with him this time. Boom. Okay. Never know what you're going to get. I'm just going to run right past... Yeah, we're running right past all these guys again. City and Golem. Dead. These Archons are very, they're a fourth edition, kind of like elemental angel kind of thing. I really love a lot of the different fourth edition uh, monster types and the way creatures look and stuff. Yeah, I love fifth. We're done! Right? So, if you wanted, now here's the thing. If you start playing this game, right, once you hit level six, which will take you not long at all, this weekend, you can just do this over and over and over and gain levels and levels and levels and it's an awesome way to get gear and once in a while you'll get a special item which is uh I'll show you i got one earlier one of the special items that drops in this is a companion uh, i named her the flame princess she's a little uh you know the flame princess like lamentations of the flame princess so you get like a little fire sprite sidekick so I haven't started leveling her up. I figured I'd level up my gargoyle first because I, I had got him in the last event. And then I'll probably start on her. And she should level up really fast. Well, yeah, it looks like she goes to level 25 as well. So there you go. That's that's one of the, the main rewards you can get from this event. Let me see. I think it'll... I'll leave the bridge. And... Let's take a look real quick. Battle for the bridge. Click to see the details. So you can get the Searing Magma die back, the Flame Sprite, or the Brutal Enchantment. See, yeah, the Flame Sprite's kind of the big one. Let's see. Whether or not you get Medallions of Battle. Uh, the shiny. Yeah. And with them, you can buy stuff. Volcanic Dagger. Uh, so actually, this event would be really good for you if you're 
leveling up. Like, you make a new character, you get level 6, you can do this, put on all your volca volcanic stuff. Ultimately, in this game, from what I understand, once you hit 70, you're going to want the primal armor that you can either... Well, you should... Once you hit 70, you should go to Barovia and let the NPCs kill the monsters, and you can get a really good set of armor. And from what I understand, the primal armor you can buy in Port Nianzaru is slightly better. So, yeah. So, ultimately, primal is what you want, and I believe the medallions of battle are what you can use. Uh, but this, this armor will help you until you get to that point, I think. So, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a thing. I don't know why, I really like the skirmishes, they, I really get a kick at them. Let's do it one more time. But the Q is so fast. Look at their maniacs. No, they're gonna kill that golem so fast. I love hurting these guys. Watch this. Boom. I don't know if you saw my earlier video, but I had the, um... I turned on the... Like, every time I did damage, it would say how much damage I did right there on the screen. It kind of fills the screen with numbers. So I went into my options and got rid of that so you could see a little more clearly... Uh, everything. By the time I get to him, he's gonna be dead. Oh, maybe not. Just hold up my shield. Stab. That's it. You can there we go. From Thrax. He's dead. So clean up here. Sit here, pick up all of this, this stuff. They just, they just left it. Look at that. So wasteful. And there we go. Seven medallions of battle. Boom. Piece of cake. It's a good way. Uh good way to like you know just gain levels and you know, the events are cool because it kind of breaks up because sometimes you'll end up in a zone see I'm still in the same zone kind of doing the same thing every day slowly progressing on my uh, campaign tasks like right as you probably know I'm working on the cloaked ascendancy right there right so still working my way towards it because I need that evidence of evil stuff right I need 120 to get to my next step and I have 94 so once I do another daily quest I'll get I think 25 and I might get a few more nibbles here and there so I'm very close to getting to the next step but it, you know it's a bit of a thing and you got to wait a day to get more you know a real life day 24 hours before the quest resets and you can get your more evidence of evil so it's kind of like these weekend events are a cool way to kind of break it up and do something different and get some pretty good loot, like new companion and uh, different type of currency that you can buy all sorts of weird stuff with. And it's just a it's a fun thing. And Battle for the Bridge, I think they've done it many times before. They kind of cycle through old events and then they sprinkle in new ones. Uh, so there's those little events and then there's big campaigns and i believe the next one is next month it's the acquisitions inc one and that's the actual reason i started playing neverwinter again is just so i can i want to i want to jump into that on day one and kind of really soak it up and you know get the full experience because you know i'm a fan of dice camera action and acquisitions inc so i'm really looking forward to seeing i think omen is in it and walnut dank grass is in it 
who's one of the characters from the C team. Uh, Chris Perkins, I think, is in it, I think. So it's just, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun for me to see him visualized. So if you're interested in that, that's in a, about a month, a month and a half away. And now is a good time to jump into the game and get to know it. And set yourself up and you'll be all ready to explore that content as soon as it comes out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks, everybody, so much for checking this out. And, uh, and it, hey, if you're if you're in the game, you want to say hi. There's my character's name right there, Pike. And uh, I'd be glad to team up with you. And uh, you can probably show me things that I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching.